Uh, have you heard anything from Connor about the million dollar bet? This disappoints me because I, I grew up really liking Conor McGregor. Yeah. He's so entertaining. Mm -hmm. He's so good. When he fought Floyd, come on, that was like the most exciting sports event ever. Yeah. I was pumped for it. And now that we're kind of, you know, in some weird roundabout way, crossing paths, or he's training Dylan, and Dylan's the guy I'm fighting, and I, I have an opportunity to open a dialogue with him. He's kind of just disappointed me as a superstar. Mm -hmm. Wait, why? Wow. Just because the his his drug problems, the way he doesn't commit to anything, the way he doesn't back up anything he says, the way he's all bark no bite. Large penis. The size of his cock. Yeah. Like these things. <laughs> these things bother me. <laughs> nah, like I get why he's friends with Dylan, bro. They're both. They're both bad people. Hmm. They're scumbags. Wow. Really? The word Jake used to describe Dylan is evil. And I said, you know what? That's actually true. He's an evil, rotten soul. Aye. I don't know if heaven exists. I don't know if hell exists. I'd like to believe heaven exists. But if hell exists, Dylan Dennis fucking belongs there. Really? Rot, rotten, vile, evil, grotesque, putrid human being. That's and strong. I can see why he's friends with Connor. So bro, I challenged Connor. I was like, you're going you're gonna to train Dylan mm -hmm. for your fight? Okay. I'll bet you a million. I'll bet you a million that I beat your fighter. Radio silence. Hmm. So no response whatsoever nothing, for the million dollar not, Nothing, bro. And, I, and I'm, I even asked Dylan about it. Dylan, in the face to face, I was like, where, where's your fucking boy? Where's Daddy Connor with the million dollar bet? He's so confident in you. Yeah. He's like, oh, the fuck, don't worry about that, blah, blah, blah. Like, he has no answer. And, and Connor, you know what? I'll tell you what. All right, Dan. I'll tell you what, Mr. Moneybags. I'm going to make this more interesting for you. How about we double it? Two million. Two million dollars says I beat your boy Dylan Dennis. I know you're gonna see this. God, I know man. you're gonna see this clip. God damn. You're coaching him. You're guiding him. He's definitely gonna show up, right? Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Both of you are all bark, no bite. Two million dollars that says I beat your boy. I will send you the contract tomorrow. Wow. But no, he's not gonna respond. All bark, no bite, both of them. Mm. That was crazy how you gave him an Australian accent, bro. I don't know. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I thought that was good. That, that was pretty fire, good. Bro. Hey, Connor, take that. Let no, him have that a promo. Good. That was good. You hate it. Listen, listen. <laughs> I like that. Listen, get it. Okay, Connor. Better than the box. He knows. He knows. Objectively, the greatest promoter in fight sport history? Yes. He's incredible. Objectively. He's incredible. Why would he not take $2 million? Because he knows the outcome. You think that he's confident that you beat? Why would anyone think that, do that Dylan Dennis could beat me? Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No one sees him in Bellator and is like, that dude could strike. Mm. He won by a toe hold in one of his wins. Mm. Like you, do, how does that work? You just hold the toe, and oh, he knows. He knows how that works. Yeah, I like feet. Yeah, he loves yeah, yeah, a toe hold. I knew that about you. <laughs> how did you know that about me? I, you told me about your feet thing. My, not my feet. <laughs> Didn't tell me about your feet. My feet. Thing. How do you feel about your feet? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do you feel? Do you think he's gonna show up? <laughs> uh, I. D he what? has to show up. You know what? I don't know because again, I keep referencing this face to face. I need this fucking thing to come out because that's when you can see the true Dylan Dennis. That's when you can see the person behind the tweets, and he's just a melty, empty puddle of a man. What's puddle. the What's the clause if he doesn't show? This is the issue. If he doesn't show and he, he he essentially tries to fake an injury, we get to choose the doctor, by the way, to confirm said injury, mm -hmm. so we can't fake his shit. What if he has pre-existing injury? No, nah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't I mean? I don't know. I don't know because the, nah, the, you didn't the, think about that. I didn't, we didn't think about it a lot here. <laughs> <laughs> we got. We get. We get played. <laughs> we get fucking yeah. dude. Yeah. I'll be honest. I, so, you know, I used to put that in his head. Like I thought oh. this was an easy W. Bro. We'll be back in boxing. Nah, because here's what's gonna happen. If he pulls out, he owes us 100k. Mm -hmm. But that's. That's nothing compared to all this attention he got, you know? Mm -hmm. Like he, 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 he. Anybody would pay $100,000 to be the yes. focal point of the fight game. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, bro. He's, he's gained fucking half a million followers. And like, I'll be honest, 
good for him for capitalizing. Some people don't take that opportunity. He capitalized. Mm. But if he does back out, like where do you where do you go as a man? How do you go anywhere in life without being fucking ridiculed for being the biggest pussy and liar in the world? He has to show up. You know, like, are those half a million followers worth being clowned for the rest of your fucking life? I mean, he's been trolling and hasn't fought in a Five really years? long time. So it's like, he hasn't fought he in 1,532 days. Wow. And I know that because right now on dildodanis.com, <laughs> there's a running counter on how long it's been since Dylan last fought. And it's been 1,530 plus days. If he does fight, okay, yeah. I'm gonna throw something at you right now. Okay, and you know where we're going with this. If he does fight, and he does beat you, yeah, Milton, to Milton, <laughs> Milton, I swear, can somebody get Milton a quarter water and a chicken? <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. No, I was just a suggestion from the panel. Yeah. Right? <laughs> if he does beat you, have you thought about what you do? Probably enjoy being a billionaire, married to a supermodel, and become WWE champion, run a podcast that's number one in the world, sign athletes to prime repeatedly, go live on a farm, smile every single day of my life, have kids, raise a family, be happy forever. Come on, bro. Good light. Good light. Oh, come, on, good <laughs> light come on, bro. I know that's you were fire. Beautiful. Concerned about that, but you went for it. And <laughs> yeah, I thought it was fire. the right decision. That so you exactly feel like there's it. nothing yeah, for you to exactly, lose. Yeah, yeah. Which uh, no, no, no. I mean, it would obviously be highly embarrassing. You Are know? you trying to have kids? Are you pull? Is she pulled the goalie? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Not no. Yet. Not yet. No not stuffing. Yet. No stuffing for that for that turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's my fiance. What am I doing? What am I doing? Baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> my Nina, this is flagrant. You already know. Yeah, she knows. She cool. The last time I came out here, I went back to her. I was like, that was crazy, yo. Those she guys. loved it. Yeah, she, yeah. She. Let's assume that you beat Dylan. And let's assume you have three, four, five more big fights. Yeah. Is there, a, is there like an end goal? I would, or is there a dream fight? Nah, no. I, I I would like to fight Connor. I think it'd be really cool. I think it'd be really. Do you cool. think that you're too big for him? I could I could cut to 185, and he's he's like 180, 170. What are you now? You probably are two 200 flat. Okay, so you could wow. cut just if you're cutting water and everything. No, I could get there. I could get there. No, yeah. I've, I've, but size wise, Connor was most effective at. 145. But, but, yeah, but we'll always come back to like, he's a professional fighter. I'm a YouTuber, you know? And so that's supposed to be the give and take of it. Mm -hmm. Like he, like, why, why would I, a YouTuber whose own one have any business beating the great Conor McGregor? Like yeah. on paper. You did, the, you did, a, you did. The great the, Conor McGregor. That's the second one. Stop uh, it. Stop. Uh, you hate it. You know. <laughs> I got to get, I got to get, I got to get a, an Irish accent down. Fuck. This is hard. Some of those dialects are hard. Yeah. Right. yeah. Pivot real quick. So 